Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we go to analyze crystal field splitting in octahedral coordination entity. There are five d orbitals. So these orbitals' energy is increased when they are surrounded by ligands. This average energy due to repulsion, what will happen to that? They will split. So due to repulsion, now this energy orbitals now split into two sets. This is a barycenter. Here that energy is constant. Now due to repulsion, we will get two set of orbitals. Which one will be getting higher energy and which one will be getting lower energy? For that, you should know that these three orbitals lies between the axis so the energy is less but these two orbitals lies along the axis so that is why the repulsion is more so due to that the energy of eg orbital this t2g orbitals triply generated orbitals this one is eg orbitals doubly degenerate orbitals so now this eg orbitals get more energy then here triply degenerate orbital gets less energy. So how many orbitals here down? 3 orbitals. 1, 2, 3, T, 2, G. Okay, so here G stands for symmetrical. So this is a symmetrical, octahedral is a symmetrical geometry. So we are using that T, 2, G and E, G orbitals. So this energy difference, this energy difference we called delta O. So O stands for octahedral field. So this energy difference between two set of orbital is called as crystal field splitting energy. Now using that, let us see how the distribution of electrons in d orbital of metal ion for coordinations octahedral entities. Octahedral entity distribution of electrons in d orbitals. If it is d1, d2 and d3 configurations there is no problem. It can directly go to that low energy t2g orbital. But for d4 configuration there are two possibility. That means here we have two orbitals higher energy then lower energy three orbitals. The electron enters then the fourth electrons can pair up with here itself according to Hunt's rule. Or what is the another possibility is here you can see that fourth electron can enter into high energy orbital. So that means here EG orbital higher energy T2G. Okay, so this possibility is possible only based on delta O and pairing energy. If delta O is lesser than pairing energy, then higher energy is needed for pairing. In such cases, it will follow T2G3 and that EG1 configuration. That means pairing will not take place. This is possible uh, because of that weak field ligands. It is also called as high spin complexes. But here you see, here, the delta O, delta o is greater than pairing energy. That means the larger delta O for that lesser energy is needed for pairing. So in that cases, it will follow that T2G4 configuration. That means pairing can be possible. This is possible by strong field ligand. It is called as low spin complexes. Thanks for watching.